Now that our data is ready to be plot out either to a printer or a PDF or into AutoCAD or into a model inside 12D, I want to show you how to do this. Well, three main ways to plot inside 12D model. And they all hide under the view that your data's on. If you go up to the very right icon where my cursor is, you've got the plotting icon. If you left click on this plotting icon, you will see that there are three main options. Now I'm going to describe the top two, the quick plot and the quick sheet plot. The main difference between the two is the quick plot, which is the one here on the left, only lets you set one parameter. So if I set a scale and if I type in a scale of one to 500 and select enter after typing it in, it adjusts the sheet size for me. So if I went through here and, and my sheet width is set to 100 millimeters, I know that. If I go enter, it will adjust the scale and adjust the height of the sheet. So you can only set one parameter using the quick plot. So it's pretty old, it's not the best. I recommend using the quick sheet plot, which I will show you how to use now. The reason why I recommend the quick sheet plot is because you can set two parameters basically. So you can set a scale, but then you can also set the size of the sheet you want to plot to. So the way the quick sheet plot works is, one, you select the view your data's on. So at the moment, if you look down the bottom left of my screen, you will see that the data is in view one. So I'm gonna leave it on view one, plotter type. If I select on this plotter type on the right here, 12D gives you a whole uh, list of options. So what I recommend doing is plot to a model first, and that will plot it to a model in 12D, so you can check the main, so you just don't waste paper or plot to a PDF and half your, half the data you wish to plot out is only on the PDF. You also got other options too, you can plot to a DWG or a DXF, uh, you can plot out to MicroStation, so these are your AutoCAD ones, the DXF and the DWG, and you can go to MicroStation, you can plot to a PDF, and you can even plot to a raster. If your PDF writer isn't in this list, you'll be able to find it under the Windows. So Windows Mono means black and white, and Windows is for color. So if I select Windows, and scroll across, it will load up all my devices in Windows. So I've got a PDF in, writer in here that I use, and I've got my printers. So you can see the printers. So this is where you would go. So once you print it out to a model, you would then go to Windows Mono, if you want to plot it out in black and white to your printer, or Windows if you want to plot to color. So I'm gonna to plot to a model, just to demonstrate this video. And then we give the model a name. So plot file is the name of either the model or just the file you want to plot to when you plot to the printer or PDF. So I'm going to call it plot. And it just gives it the extension .hp. So I just leave that there. Clean model beforehand. Unless you're a guru at plotting and you're not going to run through this panel more than once, I recommend having clean or, or always clean on. That way, if we re change some values in here and re-plot, we don't get the old data in the way. So you don't have old data on top of each other. So this is where we now muck around with the uh, scale and the sheet size. We're gonna plot out to an A3 sheet size. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different sheet size here. So there's A2, A1, A0, V1. So I'm gonna leave it at A3. Select this. So once I select A3, I can now select my scale. So you'll notice if I zoom out of my view, to add an A3 page, the scale at one to a thousand is a bit too big for this job. You see our data is only just covering about a quarter of this plot frame. So if I reduce the size to one to 300, and you can see it's probably a bit too small. So if we make it one to 500, you can see that's, that's pretty much just about right. So what we can do, once we get it down to a, a good size or a good scale, we can now move or move around the plot frame so we can center our data in the middle. So under origin, there's the X and Y coordinate. If you click on the very right icon, the pick, you can pick on this and you can just pick anywhere, left click and accept, and that will move the bottom left corner here. Not the very bottom left, but where this red dot is, that's the anchor point. So wherever you select is where it will move that point on the screen. Now there's an easier way than just clicking this icon and sort of guessing. If you go down to the very bottom left icon, there's place rectangle by origin. If you left click on this, it dynamically moves it around. 
So it's an easier way of centering the data on, into your plot frame. So once you're happy with the position, so I'm happy here, just left click and accept. And that now centers your plot frame over the data. There are also plot sheet margin. So you can type in a five mil margin. So your data will stop five mil in the border. You can give the plot frame a rotation angle. So if I type in 45 degrees and press enter, it spins the plot frame around that bottom left hand red anchor, 45 degrees. Just remember when plotting zero is across the page. So zero is like 90 degrees in bearing. If I type in 90 degrees and you'll see it goes straight up the page. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm going to leave it on zero. If plot area mode, if you tick on fix in view, scale zooms, this unfixes the scale. So if I go tick this on and I zoom my mouse in and out, you can see the, the scale is changing. The plot frame is still big, but the, the data is decreasing because the scale is moving in and out. So just be aware, um, some people do want this on, some people don't. So I normally leave it on data fixed in scale. And you also notice the scale changes dynamically up the top here in the panel. So I'm just going to change that back to fixed in data, scale fixed, and type our 1 to 500 scale again that we had before. All right, title and border. I'm going to leave that ticked on. So it's going to draw, when we plot this out, it's going to draw a basic 12D title and border. And you can change the text style. So there's a whole bunch of different text styles we can choose from. We might make it Arial, I'll select this. It's now Arial, text height four millimeters, that's fine. And what we can do is, this is only a basic quick sheet plot. So this is not using a, plot, a standard title plot your company might have with, with a lot more details on it. This is just a very basic quick sheet plot that you can give out to an engineer on site or a foreman. And, it, and this quick sheet plot allows you two lines of text. So the first line, you, you might put a description of what the data is that you're plotting out. So in this case, I'm going to type in detail survey because that's what it is. And title line two, I usually put the initials or name of the surveyor. So I'm just going to put my initials in. Title color. So this is going to be the color of the title and the text, these bits of text here. So I'm going to leave it cyan. So at the moment, I'm going to have to remove my plot frame because Mucking around with those zooms changed it. So I'm going to click the bottom left corner and just place it somewhere. There's also, you'll notice, place rectangle by center and angle. So this does the rotation too. So if I left click on the place rectangle by center and angle at the bottom of the panel here, and it, it does the same as what we did just then. So you can left click, but it does it by the center, not that bottom left hand red anchor. So I'm going to left click and accept here. But then it allows you to spin around. You can see the rotation angle in the panel change. So it's a, more, a dynamic sort of placing and rotation, rotating at the same time. So that's handy. I'm just going to change that back to zero. So I'm happy with this panel. So now once you're happy, we've got to select plot. And it should say data plotted. And then I'm going to open up a new view. So I'm going to go view, new plan. And just maximize this view. And then I'm going to turn on, scroll down, and you should have a model called Plot HP, and that's this model here. So turn that model on, and there we go. So we can see this is what our data will look like if we plot it out to a printer at A3 or a PDF. And if you zoom in, you can see the cyan title block around the edge. And if we zoom into the left corner, we can see our two lines of text that we entered, detail survey and my initials. And if we zoom out to the right hand side, this quick sheet plot is default to give out 12D model. It also writes a bit of text saying the scale is that and the date. So this is a very basic plot that you could plot out to a site engineer or foreman quickly on site without using your own company's title block.